from the land of Canada. My name is Nuchin. Welcome back to How to Minecraft. And I've been uh, I've been chilling near the spawner for about 20 minutes now. And it's getting a little crowded. It's getting a little loud too. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these guys. Now you gotta aim for the head. So, bam, bam. Really? Is it gonna take three? Bam! Pop. Okay, I guess four. Four is the magic number. Whoop! Bam! Did that just put me right to 45? That's pretty crazy. Look at all that rotten flesh. That is unreal. That's actually so good. Okay, so, um, I kind of feel bad for killing my clerics now. Because I didn't realize that I would eventually get a crazy spawner like this. Um, this is mental though. Like, so much rotten flesh. Free, free, like, free iron every once in a while. Free potatoes. Free carrots. The bad thing is that you can't actually sell this stuff. Uh, you can sell carrots, but it's like, they're worth 80 cents, so it's not worth it. What? Chickens? Chickens? Here, come, come escape, chicken. You, you deserved it. Come on. Come on. Here, I'm gonna fishing rod him out. Huh. There we go. And give me the slab. Sweet. Okay, so we've got our own chicken. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. My little chicken friend is here to stay. Look at this jag. What is he doing? Bam! He's dying. What I'm gonna do is block this off. So yeah, I like my new spawner. It's really good. <laughs> Getting all those levels out of it has been amazing. I've been able to get actually good enchants like Death Strider, which I'm so happy I got my extra strength flippers now. And um, one of the best things about it is that up in my attic here, because of this bad boy, I can actually just go ahead and make as many splash potions of healing as I want and just like go ahead and throw them in the chest that's near my spawner and be able to farm them stupidly quick the only thing about this is that I still have a feeling that I'm doing this wrong because <laughs> it never ends the way it's supposed to it never ends with a nether wart I think it's supposed to be empty or just awkward potions with a nether wart but um these are not good. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed it's supposed to end like this. And all this stuff's supposed to be gone. No, it's not supposed to come on. Are they serious? I don't know how this works. I was so lost. Oh my god. Fail. Fail. So many nether warts. They're just chilling in there. We'll just leave them. We'll we'll just leave them maybe. Oh, I gotta turn it off maybe. Maybe that'll maybe I'll fix it. No, no. No. There we go. Okay, we gotta turn it off when we're not using it. Cause uh right now. I feel like just leaving it on and like just letting it run is not the smartest idea. Um, I feel like I lost out on a bunch of glistening melons there, but, yeah, it's not the biggest deal. Glistening melons, I mean, it's just a bit of gold. Oop. I actually need to drink these first. Let's send it in. Whoops. Okay, so there's an awkward potion that's gonna be in there, that's a shame. Still. Oh, and an empty one. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so noob. Okay, alright, it's fine. It's fine. New toys always take getting used to. Uh, let's go ahead and just drop all these guys in there. This too? Oh, this, the glass bottle is actually just there. Okay, that's nice. And we're going to take that. Sweet. Alright. So that's good. Awkward potion. We could pretty much just toss in whatever we want into the dropper. And it's good to go. Uh, we're going to throw away some random stuff here. What, 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 what can we use? Do carrots? Yeah, okay, carrots you can actually use. You need to have them be golden carrots, though. That's fine. Whole bunch of iron. Like, I've got a ton of iron, which is so nice. Because I keep getting it from A, random drops out of the, the zombie spawner, and B, 
the iron golems that continuously spawn, which are amazing. They're so good. I need to I need to take um I need to like upgrade my villager farm a little bit. I gotta make it so that it collects wheat as well as uh it, it's able to like uh, take away uh villagers so that more can spawn. You know what I'm talking about? It's pretty useful. But uh, right now, I think what I want to do is restock my chest at my spawner so that I don't have to worry about that. And plus, my inventory is already full with it. So, potion of swiftness away! Dun, 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 dun. Dude, so useful. Potion of swiftness, it's like almost like having a horse. Almost. Almost, but not quite. I think that's going to be the next thing that I do is actually just look for, like, farm a whole bunch of apples, spawn two horses make them breed so i'm gonna need 20 apples from that which is gonna be a kind of annoying to get to be honest but um there's a swamp right next to me and i always try to go and find stuff there but it never really works <laughs> so it's not the biggest deal Ooh, flower king's online oh should we should we invisibility troll him just for fun just for talals maybe that could be fun that could be fun indeed. Also, I want to make this... Uh, I want to sort of add some aesthetic appeal to um, this area. Because right now, it's kind of ugly. I mean, and by kind of, I mean really ugly. <laughs> the only thing that I really need is to go from here into like a stairway over here and then get to this. Because that's the, this is where all the magic happens. I'm going to drop all this garbage in here. I'll get rid of it later. One thing that could be cool is if I had I set up a um, sorting system just so that I can like shoot all this stuff out of dispensers into a lava pit and actually just keep um, iron as well as... Oh, there's a couple of other things though that I could possibly want. Like, um, you gotta check the enchants because if you ever get stuff that's like... Like, a little, like Death, Death Strider's not bad, right? But it's on gold boots, so whatever. I don't think they can spawn with iron armor. I don't think that's a thing, but like still... Still, it's definitely worth looking into. Alright, so what we're going to do... You know what? I'm actually kind of down. i got to get myself an axe and just go looking for apples. Need to spawn that in, you know what I'm saying? Nah, mean? Got to spawn in those horses just so I stop getting owned. Okay, we're just going to use that. <laughs> Stormbringer on my axe. Perfect. What the? What the... Creeper, how did you get in my base? Okay, I have a theory that it came from down here. I'm probably right. So what I'm going to do is cover that up somehow. Why do I have so many carrots? Um, dirt! Just put a block of dirt. I don't want more creepers coming out through there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I need some more swiftness just so I can get to where I'm going faster. And off we go. Check for an iron golem. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho, iron golem! You made you made a mistake. Dude, so much damage. This this weapon's actually pretty crazy. It's all dependent on if you get uh, good procs on um your uh crushing, whether or not you're getting like really, really good damage in, but you know, if you're lucky, it'll happen eventually, so Lots and lots of damage. This is good. This is very good. And hopefully our swiftness doesn't run out before we get to the swamp. Ooh, free rotten flesh. I'll take it. I'll take it and why not? Okay, let me grab that. Just eat some steak. Oh, steak's the best. Almost as good as ramen. Almost. Okay, Depth Strider. Thanks. Best ever. Okay, I'm gonna lower my axe. Okay. Because I actually just want to break the stuff normally. Because when you use Tree Feller, it actually doesn't work as well, I don't think. Uh, getting apples. I just need 20. That's it. Just 20 apples. It's not gonna take that long, hopefully. Um, it appears that most of the items have despawned by now. Because I remember I was like hanging out and maybe we can check over here. To see if there's any items. They're still on the ground. Okay. So there is a possibility that we just find random uh, apples. 
Rand apples? Rand apples. There's one sweet. We've got a rand apple. Cool. That's random apple for all you laymen out there. <laughs> and I don't know if there's any other apples that are just like gonna be chilling on the floor. No more rand apples. It's all over. Whoa. Oh, I see. I see like mushrooms, and it like gets me. Gets me all. Gets me all hopped up over nothing. I'm just. Sad. It's a sad day. All right. So basically, what I want to do is I just want to break as many trees as possible, and then just like run back and see if it's dropped anything. Because you don't need to. You don't really need to camp by trees to see if you're actually going to be getting good drops. Oh yeah, my wood cutting skill makes no sense at how high it is. I forgot, dude. 121. That's ridiculous. I got to go into a jungle and just like destroy it. Just like. Because my uh, tree felling ability lasts something like five seconds. So I'm pretty sure that I could get like six. No, that's a bit too much. Maybe like four or five trees if I'm really like near a lot of trees. But it's possible. And that's going to raise the level to pff, I don't even know how much. It's going to be sick. Because that was one thing that I did early on is I grinded up wood cutting levels because I thought that wood cutting and your axe level for, for like PVP was the same thing. And it turns out it wasn't, so I stopped grinding wood. <laughs> but uh, I do have to say that the amount of wood that I got from that has actually been invaluable because I've gotten so... I've, I've used it so much for like a whole bunch of different things. So we're going to run back and we're just going to check up on the trees that we've already broken um oh yeah i forgot that uh axes are ridiculous because they cut they cut leaves so quickly uh in mcmmo i think i have to clear that up yeah just in mcmmo that they um uh break leaves ridiculously fast i forget what that ability is called i could just do slash wood cutting and figure it out okay let's do that slash wood cutting uh leaf blower i guess that's what it is or like this, like I hold left and leaf blower. I guess it's not really the same, but does that collect what? What's that? What's that popping sound? You guys hear that? Why is it just randomly popping? <laughs> oh well, <laughs> whatever. Oh, apples. Hey, you can actually break it. You can actually break it with uh, with your axe and get apples to spawn. Alright everybody, welcome back. Uh, so I ended up getting only 10 apples, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head over to Vic's place and I'm going to spawn a horse next to his and then just breed him. So that saves me the trouble of going to get another 9 apples, which was taking way too long. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Now I gave, um, what's it called? Uh, I gave Kenny flack for doing this. No, no. It was uh, Tyler. I gave him flack for doing this because he ended up... Uh, instead of... Because I, I was... I was At the time, I was selling horses to people. So he just went to my base, bred two horses, and then took one instead of like paying uh, 1000 for it, which is like not that much money. So I was like, why do you do this? You know, you stole from me or whatever. But um, that's not exactly the same thing what I'm doing here. Uh, the, what I'm doing here is basically, I'm like getting, what the red t stone torch is going on? Oh, I was, is this a prank? Is this actually a prank? Is this just like a redstone prank? I feel like I don't know if I should be showing this, but I'm doing it anyways, so sorry? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna find the horse. This isn't the same thing because like my horses, I actually had some before. And this used to, I used to own this one and it died. So it's like super sad. What is that? Yo, Vic has some weird stuff at his base. It's kind of cool. But, um, yes. Sam is his name, so. You have too many horses nearby to summon any more. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Uh, I need to get a saddle. I need to get a saddle because apparently I'm like, I'm just, that's just not happening for whatever reason. There's too many horses nearby. That's that's fine. That's fine. I didn't even know that was a thing actually. 
So we're going to grab ourselves a saddle slash back real quick. And I appreciate your services, Mr. Vic. Too many... What? Too many... What? Are you kidding? There we go. That's strange. Whoa, um, buddy. Why isn't this working? Why can't I not saddle this guy up? Whoops. Whoops! No! No, I'm sorry! I tried to right-click a thing on you. Why is this... Is he just, like, super slow? Dude, this is so lame. No, 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 no. I wish I had a lead. That would make this, like, ten times easier. But, yo, we're getting ourselves a horse. This is not happening. No, 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 no. Why is it not letting me? That's so stupid. What's the, what's the point? What's the point of spawning horses if you if they're not immediately tamed? Okay, get up here. Get up. I have like five minutes to do this, buddy. You gotta be kidding me. This guy, he's so stupid looking. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Please. Nooch's horse. There we go. There we go, yes. Correct way. You are walking the correct way. No, 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 no. Please. The reason why I'm stressing is because this is on a time limit. He's only got five. Where are you going? <laughs> Stupid. God. I hate this horse. You're the worst. Okay, alright, alright. He stopped freaking out. He stopped freaking out. We're going into Vic's base now. Okay. To <laughs> To be honest, I probably should have taken just just taken Vic's horse to this to this one, like in retro. You know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Whatever. We went through all this work. We're already here. Just get into the pen. Oh my God! Did I just use both of them on him? Rip. Okay, hold on. I need. Ugh, I'm so mad. Come on. I gotta do this quick. I gotta do this quick. Come on. Go. Make love. Make new horse. Yes. You can do it. Please. Please. Oh my god. Go. Go. Make new horse. Oh my god, if this time's out, I'm going to be so mad. We need more. We need more carrots. We need more We need more carrots. We just need more carrots. Come on. Come on. There's got to be, there's like a bit of a time limit left. Don't disappear. Don't disappear on me. Did I just give it to him again? How did I end up giving three? How, oh, why does it eat all my... Oh, no! 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 I need a crafting bench right now! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! He has a cat? What? <laughs> That's, like, so random. Come on! Come on! Don't you dare die on me! What the heck is going on? Make new! Make new! Please. Oh my god, I just want a horse! How hard is this? How hard is it to make new horse? I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm the mad. It's gonna pop any second now. Go! Make new! I'm so mad. Okay. I'm gonna try this one last time. I'm gonna try it one last time. Come on. I believe in a thing called love. And apparently these horses don't. 
how are they how are they eating like all of my carrots like i'm right clicking them once and like my all of them disappear okay one two i gave him the carrot please 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 before he despawns dude dude come on come on you could do this i believe That's obnoxious. <laughs> uh, why? 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 I'm so mad. And I can't even use it. I, I got a defective horse. I can't ride it. I can't breed it. Ugh. <sighs> What the heck is a gore chance? Erg. He's gonna despawn any second now. Right? Lifespan, then. Maybe if you feed it, it gets a longer lifespan. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave him. I'm just gonna leave him here. He he is a broken horse. It doesn't even despawn correctly. Screw it. Vic has two horses now. This is so maddening. I just wanted a horse. Like any other horse. I was just checking to see if it was if it was gonna despawn. That's why I was staying there so long. Oh, I had an apple there. That's fine. Uh, so that experiment failed. Uh, I'm CMMO. Why you do this to me? Uh, oh well. Oh well. You can't win them all. Can't win them all. I gotta get. I gotta start trading with these jags more. Butcher, no. I'm actually gonna kill him. Uh, Fletcher, no, Toolsmith, I want to say no, no, <laughs> uh, we just gotta clear out, like, the guys are just useless, you know, Leather Worker, the thing about Leather Worker is that they actually give you pretty decent deals, so I'm gonna hold them, I'm gonna hold on to them because of, uh, the leather trade, there's not really much that we can get rid of other than that fisherman i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep this guy because he counts as a um a farming uh a villager which is really nice this fisherman on the other hand is rip actually no the coal is nice and you mr librarian butcher yeah butcher you're going down librarian i need these guys to get back to work weaponsmith this guy actually has pretty decent stuff. But, oh, man. Okay, all right. So they're already going back to making new ones. That's good. Does this have fire aspect? It totally doesn't. Oh, it has a legacy enchant. Hex. What does that even do? I think slowness. But, yeah, they're right, they go right back into the cycle. What I'm going to do is when I can... Actually, I could probably do that right now. I'm kind of kind of down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this little wheat farm over here into... Ah, okay. No, maybe not this one. i got to move the wheat farm. i got to move it, like, over here or something. Um, Still, I'll, I'll do that next episode, actually. I, I, next episode, I'm going to make an automated wheat farm with a bunch of villagers and stuff. Because I, well, I think we only really need one, and we can make the other guy huge. But uh, who's who's our little friend here? Is this a, is this a weaponsmith? Blacksmith? Hello, sir. Yes, it is. Not the best. Pretty good, though. I want some clerics back. <laughs> I want clerics! No! Why did I kill all my clerics? Ugh. I, I never thought that I would regret that. Okay, I'm going to trade with the leather worker just to get some more trades unlocked on the other guys. Hopefully. But that's, like, so little. There's, like, no leather. Buddy. This is all I got. 
That's all I got. I swear that's all I got. What are you talking about? Ooh, even leveled up. Dude, the tunic is real. I'm going to do this again. Maybe he levels up. Because the thing is, I'm pretty sure if you trade with other villagers, it has the chance to unlock the, their, uh, like their stuff. It's possible that I'm, it's possible that I'm wrong, though. How much string do I have? Because I could actually trade a bunch of string for these guys. Uh, um, this is the chest with all my string. Cool. I've actually got a decent amount. So, one thing is I could trade with the, um, trade wool for that guy, but nah, that's not happening. That's never gonna happen. I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna break this little pen. This was the pen that I tried, uh, the apple trick with, um, in another episode. I, you know, at the end of this episode, I'm gonna go back to Vic's place. I'm gonna see if my horse is still there. Because that's hilarious. That's hilarious how it's just chilling there. It's not even doing anything. Okay, they went back to farming. That's good. That's good. I like that. I See, look. The fisherman plants. And this guy, too. Isn't that great? I'm going to trade... Ooh, this guy actually has a way better deal. Way, way better deal. I want to see what his uh, fishing rod looks like, though. It's just unbreaking. Fisherman gonna put a bunch in there actually trade a ton of string there we go the shepherd does this guy hold on does the shepherd actually farm you he might but dude they're they're going to work that's good because the thing is what I gotta do is I I, I have enough I have enough uh, seeds to actually fill one of their inventories one two three four five six well i need six stacks uh i want to go back to my base and actually just like clear out my inventory a little bit it always gets it always just gets like filled with random stuff i need to I need to clear that out here let's go ahead get rid of this uh let's get rid of that oh so much so much emeralds looks good looks good uh, the gunpowder I've been putting in here recently. For mushrooms, I'm actually going to put them in there. I have so much poppies right now, dude. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Carrots, carrots, these guys. Thorns. Alright, it's going in the random chest. And I'll put this. Ooh, you see that? Look at that glitch. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Sweet. And now back to villager. Back to villager, um maintenance i guess i want to see if maybe we can get a farming villager without having oh look at this guy he totally wants to be part of the the cool kids club over here is this a that's still a blacksmith dude he spits out bread how nice of him he feeds the other guys with it fisherman uh i believe his inventory is already full i wish that you could dude that's a ton of bread I wish you could, um, like, clear their inventories. Because right now, what I think I'm going to do is farm most of this myself. And if they make a new villager that does stuff, I'm going to sort of isolate him. I want to make sure that he doesn't even get one piece of wheat in his inventory. So that he's just in a constant cycle of planting and replanting. I wish I could check their inventories. <clears throat> so upsetting. But yeah, now he's just going to go and replant everything. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I will go ahead and take these seeds just in case. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six stacks. That's enough to fill their inventory. Which is really nice. By the way, I don't like this. I don't like this random like gash in my base. I got to either make it look better or get rid of it. Look, he's just planting everything. It's so nice. He's such a G. Fisherman. Fisherman. Shepherds do it too? Get out of town. I didn't know that shepherds actually... Really? That's actually awesome. 
I could I could give it to this guy then. Free XP boys. This guy, why wasn't he What? Okay, um maybe we can just use this jag. That could work. Okay, so we have our isolated shepherd. We're just gonna throw stuff in his inventory. We're actually gonna oops. Whoops. There we go. Um, we're gonna throw these guys in his inventory. One, two, three, four, five, six. He doesn't want them. Or maybe he does. So this guy's primed and ready for uh, actually farming. That's awesome. Okay, so that guy's good. That guy's good to go. We don't even have to worry about that anymore. Sweet. So next episode, I'm going to do that because I got to get ready. You know, I got to get all my hoppers set up and all that stuff. And uh, I'm not particularly ready for that. Ooh, God. Crazy spiders, man. Crazy spiders. Um, I didn't know that there was like a eugenics thing going on and that if I killed all of my uh, clerics, there wouldn't be any more of them. What? What can I sell rotten flesh for? <laughs> That's bad. I would much rather trade that for emeralds. Because it uh, just makes way more sense, you know? We need a we need to get a cleric back. We need a cleric back. Cause uh, I'm very upset. I'm 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 mad at myself. You know. So sad. Anyway. Alrighty. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of How to Minecraft. Next episode, we're gonna have some cool stuff going on with um, hoppers and everything. It's gonna be exciting. Also, yeah. Cactus, why you no give bigger payouts? It was so good at so at one point. Now it's just like it's kind of lame. And I think next episode is gonna be the episode where we finally get slash grenade. You know, TP Poss is actually amazing. <laughs> Do we want slash grenade or slash TP Poss? Cause TP Poss and you just type in coordinates and you're there. How amazing is that? I could like go and like immediately just teleport. To anywhere that I want. Because I think I can just do slash. Like I, like I can prank anybody that I want. You know. Like it would be so sick. Slash TP is actually only 25k. That's it? That's like nothing. Let's check a bunch of them. TPA all. Slash lightning. That could be cool. I really want grenade though. It's going to be so fun. Oh, I'm going to have to go with TP pass though I think. It's all good. Wait, I have not even raided this episode yet. We need to get a good weapon. We need to finally get a good weapon. Because it's been forever since we've actually gotten like a high tier weapon. That guy's ready. That guy's good to go for... Um... Hold on. I'm going to see if I can pick that up while I'm falling down through here. Yep. Don't blow up. Don't blow up, creeper. Okay, we're good. Sweet. Speed running. Bop. Give all your loots. Don't think that I'm not gonna own you. I ready my sword. Perfect. Um. Nothing. That's pretty good. Nothing. Terrible. Terrible loot. Where's the boss? <laughs> Is the is the boss actually like aggroed in my pit? <laughs> that's kind of awesome. Or maybe that's him. I'm gonna kill the boss. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Is this him? Nope. So he is over here, dude. That's hilarious. I kind of don't even want to get rid of this guy. Oh no! Creeper. Just don't be a douche. 
Is this the Soul Bearer? No. Is that the Soul Bearer? No. This, oh, that's a Destroyer. Okay, I don't want him to blow up any stuff, so we're actually just gonna leave him alone. <laughs> I gotta replace him! I got- he's just so cool! Come on! He- he's- he's like... He's perfect! He tracks all of the guys so I don't have to fight them. There's like three bosses in there, by the way. Like, I would honestly say about three. That's not one. That's not one. That's not one. There's a couple, though. I'm- I'm, I'm for sure. Like, I just died. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of How to Minecraft. Finally, I could do my outro. And, yeah, see you guys all later. Take it easy, guys. Peace.